It's a big dummy with a trailer. <coughs> now you can see why nobody steals it. Exactly. I could. I can't run, but I could catch them. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That's funny. So no one's ever attempted to steal it, right? Someone did once. Who who attempted to steal it? Some guy at a, at a Safeway. I had it parked by the door, but I didn't have the trailer on at the time, and um, I didn't have the uh, the kickback kickstand. That's a heavy bike. <laughs> oh, man. And um, I didn't have the kickback kickstand, so I would uh, I, I use my soft ground kickstand. I just hold it down there and pull it back. There we go. Woo. And so, um, it's cool I used this here to stand in the soft ground. But when I use this one, and it goes underneath here, I have to bungee the brake. Yeah. The bike don't roll. Yeah. And I had the brake bungeed, and the guy comes, I, I'm, I'm in the Safeway shopping, and I park it so I, each time I come down the aisle, I can look out the door and see my bike. And I see the guy coming down there, and he grabs, I see him, he, you know, he's getting ready to jump. And I knew he was going to grab it, but I dropped my grocery and I started heading for the door. And just as I dropped my grocery, he grabs the bike. He doesn't realize that it's bungee. And he tries to push it, and the recoil. <laughs> and the bike falls off top of him. <laughs> at, at that time, it only weighed 175 pounds. It was lighter than it is now. And it fell on top of him, and he's stuck underneath the bike, and I go out there, and I start kicking him. <laughs> and the security guard comes out and grabs me. Then he talks to that old lady. No, officer, he's stealing his bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was sitting here kicking him. I'm like, you don't steal bikes, especially mine. <laughs> and it hurt every time I kicked him because I got no knees. I have no ACL, I have no cartilage, I have arthritis. How do you ride with no knee? I just ride. I, I can't, I, actually I can ride better than, I, I can only walk 200 yards. And I can't run or jump period or kick unless I want to hurt myself. If I run, jump, or kick, I'll hurt myself doing it. Might even end up in the hospital, especially jumping. If I jump, I'll end up in the hospital. So what's your secret to keep on trucking? Bike. Keep on trucking. I see all these guys that are my age, I'm 27 now, and I see all these guys that are, that are that, that, you know, and they, they get there and they, oh, and they sit down, and then they, the rest of their life they're just sitting there, oh, it hurts. And so when, when, it, when it starts to hurt, I just sit there and tell myself, as soon as I get on the bike, it'll go away. As, or when it's too cold, as soon as I get on the bike, I'll warm up, <laughs> you know, and it's true. When I get on the bike, the pain goes away. When I get on the bike, the stomach kicks go away. When I get on the bike, I get warm. And so, yeah, the... <laughs> One less RV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not parking. I've been clobbered twice going by people trying to get the parking space. They would see an empty parking space, but they don't see this thing in front of it. You know? And, and I've been plowed into twice at parking spaces. And so that's why they got parking. Do you keep all your food in these containers? In this one here, that's why it says bike fuel only. Yeah, bike fuel only. The bike uses the internal digestive engine. <laughs> internal digestive. Yes, the car uses the internal combustion engine. They both use fuel. But when you buy fuel for the car, you're given a nickel to Dick Cheney and a nickel to Osman Bin Laden, or whoever's taking all those farms. Right. And Osman Bin Laden's going to go out and buy bullets and dynamite so he can shoot you and blow you up. Dick Cheney's going to go out and buy a new hill for his cowboy boot so he can grind your head into the ground before he lets Osman shoot you and blow you up. But when you buy fuel for the internal digestive engine, you're giving it to some guy who plays in the dirt and smiles a lot. Who would you rather give your nickels to? <laughs> That's true. The second one. Although I gotta say, lately, this place I've been camping up here by the IV, 
I have actually been thanking Mr. Bush every morning. I lean my bike up against him while I'm putting the trailer on. I never <laughs> thought I'd thank Mr. Bush. <laughs> the Bush. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there the other day and I'm sitting there. I'm, you just hold that right there, Mr. Bush. And I go and I get the trailer, put the trailer on. I say, thank you, Mr. Bush. And then all of a sudden I say, I hold it. That's not something you're supposed to say. <laughs> You don't even have a granny gear in the front. You only have two speeds. In the I front. don't. I don't even have a shifter. This is for when it's unloaded, and the smaller one is for when it's loaded. And I just change by hand. I have an internal eight on the rear. Internal eight. Yeah, the LP. German. No, it's a Shimano. Oh. It's the LP and internal eight speed. It's like the old three speed, but you got eight speeds in there. So it's like mine. What do you have? The uh, Nexus. I just have. Um... You have Eight seven speeds. speeds. Yeah. But it's, yeah. Oh no, you have an uh, you have a an you extra. Yeah, you have a derailleur on the. I don't have a derailleur on my rear. I just have a tensioner there. And the only reason I use that tensioner is because I need the space here. I need it to be held down so I have the space for the kickstand. Oh, that's just a tensioner. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a tensioner. It's not an actual derailleur. There's only one gear back there. So why did you go with the internal hub in the back? Oh, lots of reasons. Um, they're cheaper. Uh, than it, buying a cassette and a derailleur? And a cassette and a derailleur and a cassette and a derailleur oh. and a cassette and a derailleur. Because you run through them. Right. They're, uh, they're, um, when you come up to a stoplight and you're in a high gear and you don't shift down quick enough, just shift on down and you're an old gear. It doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be moving. Right now I'm in eighth gear. Now I'm in first. Wow. And I guarantee you if I shift it and you you take right off. You, you're, and so you're not sitting there trying to paddle, you know, when you stop in high gear and you ah, you know, I've broken chains that way, I've broken yeah. handlebars that way, because I'm pulling on the handlebar while pushing on the pedal, and all of a sudden, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I need one of those. <laughs> I had that happen to me in Santa Cruz one time, right across from the um, the Whole Foods store there, the... Uh, Staff of Life. Nope. No. The one downtown. New Leaf. New Leaf. Yeah. Right across, I was, right, I was on that street at, at the Pacific. stop there. On, I was coming on the Pacific, okay. and I'm right across from New Leaf, and I, when I pulled up there, I pulled up and I was on high gear, and I'm taking off, so I pull on the handlebars and I push on that pedal, and all of a sudden the handlebar snapped off my hand, and I'm sitting there looking at the handlebar. <laughs> oh, I, shit! <laughs> trying to hold it steady with the one handlebar, with the one side that's still connected, but I can't let go of that side because that side's got my brake on it, too. <laughs> <laughs> So I had to hold on to the handlebar. And I can track stand that. Balance it? Yeah. I can track I can do that. That's crazy. Yeah. Trailer and all.